Can you find credible health information online? When you search for information on the web, it's important to evaluate your search results before you select a website. The first few websites that appear in your results are most likely advertisements from companies, dot coms, and are selling products or services. Even though these websites contain your search terms and have health information, it is pharmaceutical or health product companies that are supplying the information. Even if you avoid the ads and sponsored links, you'll still want to be wary and look closely at the source of the website. Many websites that have health information are still cluttered with ads and sponsored links. Even if it looks like an official health organization, it is a good idea to dig a little deeper before you trust the information that's on that website. The first thing to do is look for the person or organization who is behind the website. If you cannot tell or there is no contact information, this may be a red flag. When looking through your search results, be sure to look at the web address before you make a selection. For example, health insurance company websites could be a good place to find information about health insurance and coverage. But for the most part, try to avoid .com websites unless you intend to purchase products or services related to healthcare. The web can be a great place to find up-to-date, free health information, but since just about anybody can post information on the web, it can also be cluttered with opinion, hearsay, biased information, and pseudoscience. So rather than using a web search engine to find information, you may want to start by identifying credible health websites and going to those sites directly rather than taking your chances by searching the whole web at once. You can find credible health websites by visiting your local health center or hospital website or by going directly to National Medical Institute websites such as the Library of Medicine or Medline Plus. Identifying credible health websites and searching just those sites directly will take some of the guesswork out of finding health information on the web. You can find free educational resources online if you know where to look. Most of us start with a basic web search where we want to look for information. But if you rely only on the results from a web search, you'll only skim the surface. In a basic web search, some of the best websites are buried underneath a sea of popular, well-known sites. But if you search smartly, you can discover television and media sites, academic materials, and national repositories, all of which offer free materials such as streaming video, course readings and lectures, photographs and historical documents, and much more. Television programs from the Public Broadcasting Service and from many cable channels are available to stream online. Some of these websites may offer DVDs to purchase, but there are often full episodes and videos to stream for free. To find these, simply use the word video and the name of the show, channel, or network you wish to search for. Here's an example of a video from the series Nature that can be streamed from the PBS website. Large colleges and universities such as Yale and MIT offer free educational materials to the public. These educational repositories often use media tools like YouTube or iTunes to deliver videos or recordings of presentations or lectures. To locate materials or videos from educational institutions, use web search engine advanced search features. Enter search terms like lecture, video, or presentation as well as a general subject area. Limit your search to only .edu internet domains to find material from only colleges and universities. Here's an example of a series of video lectures on biodiversity from Harvard University. National repositories like the Library of Congress, the National Library of Medicine, and the National Archives provide access to a wealth of material that is open for public use. Again, to locate more examples of these repositories, use a web search engine's advanced search features. For health information, enter search words like treatment, research, diagnosis, or a specific disease, disorder, or medical term. For historical or archival materials, enter search terms like history, photographs, archives, or a specific document or time period. Limit your search to only .gov internet domains to find material from national repositories. Here are some examples from Medline Plus and from the National Archives website. Finally, don't forget about local resources such as Vermont Public Television, the University of Vermont, the Vermont Historical Society, the Vermont Department of Libraries, and your local public library.